Hi my friends, today we model this part. You see it is a, an interesting and complex model. The name is Efficient Propeller and the drawing is here. We start by creating the main volume, revolving volume, with dimensions from here and also from here. For instance, 6 degrees is this tronconical feature. Don't forget, undimensioned fillets are radius 2. Let's start. Standard millimeters IPT. New sketch. XY plane. We draw a line. A vertical line. As uh, an axis. With a dimension of 53.75. the axis and we draw lines. I start from somewhere here to the left. I go to the level of this point left, down, left again We go to the level of this point and we close this contour. I place this line on this point and this two on the same horizontal and dimensions. This is 15, this is 6 divided by 2, this is 20 divided by 2, this uh, dimension is 20, this dimension is 15, this is 10.75, uh, the diameter is uh, 45, the other diameter is 125, 125. Other dimensions, diameters, this is 70, and this is 35. I move this here so we have a fully constrained sketch. Finish sketch, revolve, ok. Next is uh, this contour you see here 4.5 is between the ends of uh, this arc. This is an arc here and it is centered 
on the vertical. Same for this, 15.8 centered from the vertical. Two radii of 100 and 122 and this arc is 85 divided by 2. Good, let's create this on the face, this face. Sketch x to the right. We start by creating the two arcs. One is this with a radius 100. And the other is here, radius 122. We draw another arc between these two points with the radius 85 divided by 2. This point must be in the center. F7 to see the face. Now I apply fillet of 2 what is by default and I place this midpoint on the same vertical with the center. I have to draw an arc here. Then I place this point on the same vertical with this point. Dimensions are between the ends of that two arcs. This is 4.5 and the other is 15.8. We have a fully constrained sketch. Finish sketch. Okay, we'll use this uh, sketch, this area, by using sweep after we create that uh, helicoil on this face. We go now to that uh, procedure to create the helicoil. The definition of that uh, helicoil is uh, that uh, it is placed between these two faces or planes and uh, the helicoil is very large with a pitch of 500 millimeters. This diameter of 125 is very important because from uh, a point of this bottom uh, plane we start with the helicoil. Let's do this. We start a 3D sketch and helicoil. Helicoil with the option spiral. We start from a random point on the bottom circle of 125. Then uh, we select this vertical and you see that we have a spiral now, a plain spiral in the circle, in the bottom circle. Good. Dimensions the diameter is 125, the pitch is 500 millimeters, very large. This is why I don't uh, want to have a full revolution. Point 0.1 is enough. 
Okay. You see, this is that uh, spiral uh, segment of the spiral. But we don't like uh, the placement of this random point. We use uh, the coincidence between this random point and the plane YZ. Yes, now we have uh, this point aligned with this point and the area where we work. Good. We finish this sketch because we don't need a plain spiral. We want to project it on this conical face. We start again the 3D sketch and we use project to surface. What surface? This surface. What curve to be projected? This curve. What is the direction? The direction is the axis Y. Okay. You see now we have a large curve on this face. Now I can hide uh, this spiral from the first 3D sketch and we can apply the sweep. Finish sketch, sweep, I select this area and I select this curve. The solution is cut. Okay. You see the cut. Good. Now we apply this radius 2.5 before to multiply that cut. This is uh, a fillet of 2.5 okay now we can apply circular pattern I forgot to mention here that there are 22 blades but I can place this uh, now right now Twenty two blades. Okay, now you know how many blades we use here. Circular pattern for the sweep only about this axis in a number of twenty two. Okay. 